Good morning, good morning. Have some more hazelnut coffee. And my latest thrifted mug. How cute is that? This is what I'm working on. Part three. I am, so the way this pattern is written, the rows, there's the beginning setup rows, uh, one through six, and in those setup rows, it refers to a chart and a written paragraph. So it'll tell you reference back to the chart or the reference for it, the increasing front panel G or reference back to the increase corner A, B, C, or D. So there's minimal verbiage in the actual pattern, but then when you flip back and reference onto the other page, it t gives the description of what to do. So it's very easy to have it to memory. Just looking at the corners of the book here, I have the row that I'm on. I have the repeat that it's telling me to repeat these rows. And then this marker is the marker for the charts and the description of what the pattern's telling me to reference. Nice and organized. So where am I? Working up nicely. I really do enjoy this yarn. Haven't had any splitting, no problems, no issues. I have my white wall right here, <laughs> row nine. So I have the increased front uh, front panel. Uh, let's see, that is the increasing arm panel. This is my back. Here is from this pin, there's six increasing points, which is incredibly easy to just bop along and then you get to your, your marker, which they suggested, which I don't usually use, but man, in this pattern, it's incredible. So there's my other arm. There is my other front, and then that's the increasing point on the front. I have my $1.25 tree cauldron, because you need something fancy to hold your, your pattern book and your yarns that you're working with. I went ahead and dug out three skeins of this ox blood, burgundy, burgundy, very pretty. And look, it's decor. <laughs> so this pattern is working up very smooth, very, very smooth. It's a four row repeat. Um, in triple crochets. I have a great big H hook. Um, in the beginning, I had some of that sock weight yarn, the fingering or the sock weight yarn, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to work, so I kind of pushed it aside. Um, after seeing how smooth it is and the drape, think after you know being on row nine I think it would work up perfectly fine um if I went down half a hook size or one hook size and work to the next size up I think all the counts and everything would stay the same the measurements and the counts I also see this pattern working the other way. Um, if I went up a hook size, hmm, no, this is a pretty big hook. I think I would keep this try <laughs> keeping the same hook size and working in maybe um, a four weight. I don't think that that would um, make things too. Italy. 
very 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 nice pattern Ooh, didn't realize i wasn't showing you guys anything triple crochets you just bopping along you're alternating this um v stitch and the shell stitch going all the way across and then when you get to your your points there are different increase points for the four different rows um, one of them not growing at all which makes it a very smooth transition so they won't be uh, too pointed let's see so i'm on row nine i'm on the last row of this repeating what I've already done sequence without giving away too much information. And let's see, one, two, three, four. In five more rows, I will start connecting the arms together and working a, a waistband. So that's exciting. So check in number one, progress step number three is actually start step number three is getting this front fiddly row and the pattern established that's that's intimidating sometimes you gotta take it out and rework it and but you gotta keep going that that's the point as soon as you get it going and sometimes you can't just be too picky about it if you've redone your start multiple times Start it again and just commit and go. Just commit and go because there's going to be other parts to figure out. Give it your best and just start the dang pattern already. <laughs> so that's what I got. Step three, get that foundation row going. Get your project started. Start working on those repeats. Break down your pattern. Get your post-it notes in there. Figure it out. What... Um, what you need to get going. This is a nice little pattern to work out. I'm really enjoying this one. All right, well that's it for today. Um, Hang on for just a little bit and I will post a progress picture at the end. Thank you for visiting with me today. I'll see you soon. Bye.